So I posted a poll the other day to see what type of content you guys wanted to see, and a large majority of you guys said tutorials. So today we're going to learn how to sync an intro to music without any plugins. Seems difficult, right? I think not. First I'll show you how to prepare your composition for syncing, and then I'll show you how to become a sync master. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. You can always unsubscribe later if you change your mind. And be sure to like the video if this tutorial helped you. So enough wasting time, let's fire up After Effects and hop straight into it. All right guys, so now we're in After Effects and it's very simple, we're just gonna start creating our composition. So I'm just gonna leave this as comp one, it's nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. We'll make it, I don't know, what's a good time? We'll make it 15 seconds. You're gonna go to file and you're gonna import your song. So once we import that, we could just drag it here into our composition, into our timeline. And now we could start working with it as you can hear it. Okay. So let's prepare the music by right clicking on it, going to keyframe assistant and converting audio to keyframes. This will create a null layer. And if you hit U on your keyboard when it's selected, uh, you can select this one down here, the both channels slider, that'll select all these keyframes. Then you can go to your graph editor as shown, and you'll see that it, it shows all of the, um, the peaks and such. This is exactly what you want because what you can do is you can come in here and play it and wherever there's music or a peak, you can just hit the asterisk, which is the star symbol on your keyboard. It's on the number pad and that'll create a marker. Um, so if I go outside, you'll see that the marker is there, which is exactly what we want. So we're gonna go through here and we're just gonna put markers wherever we want there to be sync. Okay guys, so I have all my markers here. I tried to put some variation in there so I could show you guys some different techniques for syncing but this is pretty much the gist so if we play it you can see the markers in the song so it's going to be a little faster in the beginning and then we have more of just the beats and stuff and that's what we're going to be syncing to okay so now i have some text up on the screen guys and what we're going to do is we're just going to create a null object here and we're going to put slider control on it we're actually going to put three slider controls and you'll see why in just a second i'm going to rename these to scale position and rotation all right, so now that we have them renamed, we're just going to drop down the null and drop down the effects of null, and you'll see the scale, position, rotation. These are the three slider controls. We're gonna also drop down those so we can actually play around with the settings here. You can see it's changing up here, but leave that all to zero for now. It's very important that you have this open or else the next step is gonna be very difficult. Okay, so select the text, and what you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna wanna hit R on the keyboard. This will open up the rotation property and holding alt you want to click on the little stopwatch and it'll bring up a little expression menu and here what you're going to type in is wiggle uh, parenthesis and then what you're going to type in is the frequency so the first number you input is the frequency so for us the frequency is going to be six okay and then we're going to put a comma once you have the comma you're going to take this little squiggly line and because this is rotation attach it to the rotation slider once you've done that put an end parenthesis and that one's set up. You're gonna do this for the position property as well with the same exact expression, wiggle, six, and then you want to attach that to the position slider, end parenthesis, and you're done with that. Okay, so for the last one, scale, you're gonna do it a little bit differently. You're just gonna come here, grab the lasso and attach it to scale. You're not gonna actually put an expression for that one. So now that everything is set up, we can actually begin to sync. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some keyframes. So we're gonna do, we're gonna go over four, two, three, four. All right, and we're gonna set this to 120, actually 130, we'll set it to 130 uh, like that. And I'm just going to control copy, um, control C I mean, and just paste these all on each and every one of these markers select them all and then offset them so that the last keyframe is on the marker and then just hit f9 that's going to easy ease them and it's going to look something like that so now that the scaling's out of the way now we're going to go and hop into position and rotation it's basically the exact same thing except this time we're just going to go over five keyframes um then you can set the position to about 50. This, the position, the greater this value, the more it'll wiggle around, uh, the farther the distance from the center it'll wiggle around. So maybe even 40 is fine. So that looks about right. You can play with these settings. Um, and for rotation, I think 10 is good. That's gonna affect how much it swivels. 
So now that you've created that one, you can do the exact same thing here and just paste them on all of these. Okay, and you're gonna also offset those um, except you're gonna line it up with the start keyframe of the scale. Hit F9, and then once you have F9 selected, go to the graph editor here, make sure you're on value graph, and you should be able to, we're actually just gonna, let's work on um, position for starters, just kind of drag this in like that, it'll create. Okay, and you can play with this graph and make it however you like. I'm just gonna make it look like this, just for the sake of this tutorial, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the rotation. Okay, and now when you play it, you're gonna see that it's fully synced up, and that was without plugins. So it's really not the hardest thing to do, and obviously you can play around with the settings, you can play around with the wiggle frequency. Um, there's so many different things you can do, but this is basically how easy it can be to do it. And that is basically all we had to do. So without further ado, guys, I will catch you guys later. Peace and bye-bye.